Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem was actually a pretty great movie. Let's chat. The intro to this movie was awesome, not just starting with the turtles, but starting with Baxter Stockman, letting us not understand his story and how he's kind of just like the turtles, feeling like an outsider. His story leads us into the turtles and Splinter. This version of Splinter has always been a rat, not a man turned rat. He found the turtles one day, of course, in the ooze, and he adopted them. The difference between this Splinter and other Splinters, he kind of hates the world. He does not want the turtles. It's not just the turtles don't go outside. It's like he does, does not want them to interact with the outside world at all or even want to go there. On to the turtles. I love them. This was a great pair of turtles. You really felt the chemistry between them. This is the first time we, in history we've had teen actors playing the turtles. And you can definitely tell. It works. None of the voices were annoying. They were all perfect. Even Mikey's, which I thought was annoying in the trailers, but it ended up being great. Ayo Debris, known for her role in The Bear. Yes, Chef. She's amazing. She killed it at April O'Neil. People will hate no matter what because of race swaps, which I don't think they're all needed. But I enjoyed this one. And this April O'Neil felt more like the Turtles. She was an outsider like them. Ice Cube delivered for real. I wasn't expecting him to do so great as Superfly. But I enjoyed this as the first villain. Not a crazy first villain, but somebody that really related to the Turtles. Because this movie is truly just about acceptance. My favorite part of the movie has to be the pop culture change. Obviously in the past Turtle movies, especially the original, we know it felt like a 90s pop culture and that's how it should have. Now in this film, it was made for people like me. 2,000 kids, 14 and kids growing up with social media now. From the references about Attack on Titan, Avengers Endgame, Adele. He's like sus and Riz and like perfect New York slang. Even a very nostalgic moment for Fruit Ninja. This movie is serving its audience. This movie was not perfect, but I think it's a great start. Like most Seth Rogen films, when you're trying to be serious, it ends up being ruined with a joke. We hope they bring more seriousness if they do a second film. And of course, there were some over the top jokes not needed in the kids film, Seth. Some of the parts of the movie felt rushed, but an hour and 50 minutes is a good start for a Turtles film. Overall, it's a fun watch. I may see this movie twice. I think it's worth it. it. Definitely, if you grew up watching Turtles, go see this. Even if you go see it by yourself, I saw it by myself and I really enjoyed it. I give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles an 8 out of 10. Last night, I have it about 7.5, but the art in the movie does bring it out. It's not... It is not, it does not compare to Spider-Verse 1 or 2. And I don't think you should try to compare it just because of the art. It's in a different category. You know, the future of animation is coming. In a couple years, they'll come with a number two or other projects you never know. And I think they can do even better. Seth, don't make a joke out of your movies too much. And don't rush any villains. More Turtles videos on the way. Catch y'all later. Calabunga.